guys welcome once again to my video so in this video i want to walk you through on how to get started with your video editing skill so this video is basically about video editing and then the basic of video editing you must understand that video editing is very broad so in this video i want to just show you how to get started like doing simple video editing okay so the first thing we want to do here is to get the software we'll be needing uh we'll be using what i call cut codes okay so cut codes i'll drop the link to download this software in the description section of this video so do well to hit on that link and it takes you to this website where you hit on download for free and immediately you will install and you get started immediately so the next we want to do is uh having downloaded it you open it just open it up once you open it up you come to this place now all these ones here are the um videos that have been that have edited before so um there are more than this i have to deal with some of them so let's say you come to this place you want to log in with your gmail you can sign up with your gmail also it's possible on capcom so here you right click you see upload rename duplicate and delete so i want to delete this video or delete this and whatever you delete you go to the trash here you can see it at the trash here so you can delete it permanently is your choice okay so it is permanently enter so it's gone out now so if you want to start a new video you want to come to this create project so i'll click on create project now it takes me to uh, this um, interface so this interface now is where it takes me to now here this is where uh, a major thing will be done here i want to show you something i don't know now when you come to this interface the next thing you want to do is to see import your video this is a video import so import videos audio and images and by your top right corner here you could see image audio text sticker effects transition filter and uh, adjustment by your right corner here you see you're not in you're, you're not seeing any feature here but there are features there but when you bring in video that's when the feature will be active so let's bring in the video now and see what happens so the next thing now click on imports and importing you can do it two ways so i could see i could say okay i want to import i could um just double, double click and it goes or i could decide to bring the video in this way and just drag it and to just drag this one and drop it here so any of your choice you are good to go so if i want to like for example i want uh to bring this video down if you want to edit now you have to bring any of the video you want to edit drag it down just let's click and use your mouse to drag it down to this timeline this track here okay and let me delete again so if all you can hit on this plus icon here and it's down so the next thing you want to do is after you've imported bring the video drag it down here if you look by your right corner here you notice that some features just pop up for you too now these are the features you really need to manipulate this video and the rest so the first one here you have the video these are the things you need to do how to resize your video you want to resize this video okay the next one here is your audio how to work on the audio aspect this aspect is when you increase the sound the audio sound of your video this is a feeding and feed out audio like you want the video uh, the audio to start in a very low tone and increases as, as it goes the next one here are other things you could reduce your voice your noise let's say you shoot a video and the noise there is on the high side so you just want to reduce the noise why uh, it's not advisable making a video where the noise is much perhaps the noise is uncontrollable then you can still do something by reducing the noise here now the next one here is to voice changer just play around with this and you get it right so we we'll go to the speed speed here is how to increase the video to hello guys how are you doing today welcome once again to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you how does for you okay so you could just uh increase the speed all right so i'm going to take it to the normal the normal speed is 1.0 times okay so just take note of that and you can also do curve 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 um speed try all this the next one here is animation animation is when you want to bring your video in for this kind of thing this is animation. animation so there are two types of animation in animation and out and animation 
out animation is this for the end of your video and the next one third one is combo combo animation gives you a kind of um looping <laughs> So we're going to remove it none. So you have it removed. Now another thing I'm going to show you to help you get started with your basic editing is this feature here. This feature here is what helps you to train your video. You want to train a particular part out of the video, then you click on that video and you take it. You probably you need to watch the video. This is how you doing today? Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. You really want it to be trained, okay? So let's see i've gotten to this part now i will just have to click on the video so if you click on the video you have this white border it's going to be white border okay so white border and you click on this split button here or you do ctrl b for the split so you have this here now you see this video has been splitted that's how to do it now if you want to split and trim off that part let's see i want to i want to split and trim off all these parts this this let's Hand side so what i want to do is uh is just to come here and do delete let which is um q delete let you can see now delete let you can click with this place now it means everything as you are splitting you are deleting from that let downward okay so that's what let's undo if you want to undo you can undo here undo this control set so i undo now if i do delete let see now from that left downward has been what deleted so that's for that and same thing to this word delete right so and the next one here is delete entire the footage entirely the next one here is uh mark we want to edit we are editing any control we are editing and at some point you want to mark some things so you could just use this mark you see now i've marked that this is i've put a mark here it's called marker and as on this point here, I also, also want to put a mark here as well. You get it now. So that reminds me of what to do at a particular time. So the next one here is uh you have to do freeze. You want to freeze your video, no problem. You want to do next reverse. Next one is you want to do what we call mirror. You want to change the video to from um, what it was new in this channel. Do well to from the original to do well to subscribe, do well to like this video. So let me reduce the scalability of this video. So, and this one has to be able to rotate. You want to rotate this video. You want to rotate it. So it's a choice 360. That's perfect. The next one is you want to crop, how to crop a video. Crop a video. So I'm going to be making videos, subsequent video on how to edit using these tools perfectly like. So stick to this channel and this is more reason you to subscribe if you have not done that please subscribe hit on that red button encourage me by subscribing hit on the red button and also do like this video so that youtube when you like a video you are telling youtube that this video is good share this video to more people if you don't like it youtube and Korean wouldn't pick the video and distribute it to more people this is the reason why we ask you most times to like a video it's very important subscribing liking it is free so you don't pay for it so do it now thank you so the next thing you want to do here is uh, come down to this place um here you want to put audio now uh CapCut comes with some kind of audio it has some kind of audio here so you want to put this audio here sound be careful how you use all this sound i'm still going to make a video to teach you on all these things yeah i'm just walking you through on carport how to like how carport works so this one here you want to put a text if you click on this icon now so you see i'll click on it now it opens a place where the text will go in so i'll just say welcome so my YouTube channel. So font size I decrease it a bit. Okay, I could just use this and just make this issue. Okay, and increase it a bit, then I will drag it downward. Okay, to the center. 
now you can just do some things you could change the font like me i don't like this font i just have to change it to something better the font i use i use this i use this also i prefer this then if you don't want the size the size is too small increase it also then you can put bold and make it bold is your choice you can make it small letter is your choice okay by default the font is capital letter okay so you can change the font the color you can also change your space character so just play around with this thing this one a basic thing that you should know <laughs> If you are into graffiti, all these ones are things you should know. You can put a stroke, like put a stroke to make your light up um, readable. You could also do some kind of adding background. So I could put background here and also change the color of the background, opacity, and the rest. So these are things you could do literally using tab cuts. Alright, you must understand that CapCut is also a free and premium software. But I am using the free here and telling you what the free can do for you. It can do a whole lot of things for you. Secondly, is that CapCut is a video editing software. You need data, internet connection in order to access some of their resources. So you don't really need data or true when you're editing, but sometimes for you to access some directories, some of their directories, you need data to download it. Okay. And once you downloaded it, you are good to go. So the next one here is um, we have a sticker. There are many stickers here you could see now loading resources. Many stickers here that you could use. All these things, everything are one and in one place for you to use them. So based on the type of sticker you want to use, you want to use icon stickers. So you could see now you could just download this space. Take your time to download them. This video. So that's what that's. The next one is effects. I advise every video editor to make sure they understand how these effects work. I'm going to make videos on them like I promise. Um, subsequently, just keep stick to this channel. So try to learn this effect. This effect are one of the things that makes your video top notch. Like when you learn how to use effect in videos, most especially when you're dealing with editing skit comedy skit and the rest this in fact goes a long way in making your video distinctive so the next one here is transition transition helps you to move from one video to another so your video don't just get to move from one video to another without a kind of uh, notice that transition helps you also to engage your keep your audience engaged your video is not just 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 plain without no effect, no transition, those things as they are popping up, they make your video very interesting and engaging to your viewers. So you must also learn that transition. Transition comes in between a what um, in between two videos. So if I want to add transition to this video now I have to give, uh, split the video into two. It's being split now. So I'll add transition in between. I will come here now. Okay let me just put transition here. Okay transition. So now I will come to this transition. I can just hit on this plus or I will just um, edit into it. Or you could preview it and see how it look like. Edit into So this is how it's going to look like. So I put another one. Edit into So the four. You see now. So I will drag this one now to that center. So you get it now. So I will need it to, let's see. Let's add. So added transition now. Without spending money at all, just with your editing tools. So that's what happens now. So that's what we call transition. Next is featuring. Featuring is a very good tool also that really helps you to get something good for your video. Please, if you understand featuring, then you are good to go. The next one is adjustment. This is where another something good comes from. This adjustment is considered to be like um, color grading, color featuring, color corrections. That's where it's, where it's being done. So if I come to this now, I could uh, click on this custom adjustments. Click on custom adjustment. Look at what it gives to me now. Here, to, to any year I want the featuring, like the color grading to, to the end, I want it to show. 
I'll just drag it there. The next thing I want to do is if I click on this adjustment, now you see what opens up for me here. So I can begin to do my color grading on the box. So I could just add some color in there. This is what makes your video stand out. Add this one also. This one is a bit it's too much. Decrease it and also add this a bit. Um, contrast, I could put this one a bit. And also, if you want it to be dark a bit, you could also put this one, drag it white. I want it white, you put it to the front. I think I'll be very this way. So look at the black also, you see it now. So it's your choice. Play around with this and you know what really suits the video you are. Now, another thing I'm going to tell you is that videos differ. Dimensions of video differ. Um, based on the platform you want to upload the video, will tell you how the video should be edited. Should be edited. So make sure you understand different platforms and their quality. So you will edit the video alongside with that, making use of the resources that are needed, not using something that you don't really want or that will gains their policy. So we have the sharpness here. You can see what the sharpness. Please mind you, don't apply this thing too much. Yes, it will just spoil everything. <laughs> so clarity. But when you keep practicing this thing, you get used to it. So let's say I want to use this beam limit. So add some kind of dark, uh, kind of dark, um, dark whatever. Just I hope you can see what I'm doing. So just in you know, as much as you can see, no problem. Let's continue. So the first thing you want to do see here is into it. so and the next one you want to do here is uh now all this setting you've done. Probably you want to set them so you keep using them in a video subsequently. You can set save it as presets. Once you set it, save it as presets, it becomes something part of the video each time you want to edit the video, you don't have to come and keep um touching all these areas again oh me i love touching that thing i love it that color grading i love it and that's the more reason you must play with it more so to understand them how they work how to use color to give you particular thing you're looking for so i guess i've been able to explain basically everything you need in CapCut. and the other things you just need to do is so Let's sit down and watch this video and so practice few things okay now let me show you this before i wrap it up now look at this ratio this is where you change your dimension dimension you get it now this is a dimension it's 9 by 16 and this is 16 by 9 this was what we were using before so there are different video dimensions here these are what these are what you really want to go for so here you can expand it on this okay. so that is for that so let me take it back take it back to the editing and the next one here if i want to mute this video completely you could see here mute track is muted already if i want to hide this video i could hide this track you see it's hidden if i want to lock it i could lock track so that means locking i don't have to probably you don't want somebody to tamper with it so you could lock it and nobody will do a tamper with the editing. So your editing doesn't get um tampered, okay? So that's for that. And um I feel that's all. That's all. That's all you really need to get started with. Thank you very much for watching and uh, do what to stick on my YouTube channel. Like this video if you haven't liked it and also uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the fact that you are able to stay to the very end of this video. And more videos, if you want to make more videos on this, teaching you how to use them. Now, the next video I'll be doing is a video that will show us how I start an editing from the start and I will finish it to the end. Probably editing a YouTube video from beginning to the end. So stick to this channel so you don't get you don't get to miss that video. Thank you very much once again. See you in my next video.